So now in this video we're going to look at a PNP bipolar junction transistor right there, wired as an emitter follower. Down at the bottom we have our uh, yellow line, that's channel 1, that's where I'm taking the measurement where the wiper of the trim pot is. The trim pot set all the way down to the uh, negative rail, so it is 0 volts. You can see about 0.6 volts higher right there, that is the emitter of the PMP bipolar junction transistor I'm using at 2N3906. So it's a little bit higher. That's one thing to be aware of in this circuit. As I turn the trim pot voltage up, you can see that uh, the output voltage follows it. It's just 0.6 volts higher, but it's following. It uh, changes instantly. Now we're going to get to the extreme though. So each square going up is one volt. When we get to about five volts right there, you can see the green line stop going up. That's because we ran out of uh, supply voltage. It's a five volt supply right there. So we can get them both set to five volts. It can't go any higher because we don't have any more voltage. So now we'll uh, come to the schematic there. We have the uh, trim pot, positive supply to one end of the uh, resistive element and the negative supply to the other. It's a 10,000 ohm uh, resistor from one element or one terminal I should say to the other. Middle terminal though is a wiper. It uh, connects along that uh, resistive element. So it's 10,000 ohm. Exact value doesn't really matter. Low values will uh, let too much current go through. You'll be wasting uh, current. And uh, too high of a value, the uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor does need some current to uh, operate. So you don't want to go uh, too high. But 10K, as you can see, works uh, fairly well. So that is coming the output there to the base of the PNP bipolar junction transistor using a 2N3906. There's an NPN version, 2N3904. It has the same basic uh, properties, but the chemistry is the opposite. Current flows in the opposite way, so we use that in a lot of circuits. Um, but they can handle the same amount of current and everything. Same gain and all that for the most part. Uh, there you can see the emitter on top. 1000 ohm resistor to the uh, positive supply. So first let's look at if we set the trim pot to uh, ground right there. You can see we have this current path from emitter to base there and then it would go directly to ground. That's a big reason why we have this current limiting resistor. A little bit of current from the emitter to base means there's a lot more current that can flow from emitter to collector down there. Another reason why we need that 1000 ohm resistor. Our uh, output is in relationship to ground, so it connects uh, directly there. There'll be no voltage difference across the load for the most part. Remember, it takes about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts to conduct from emitter to base, and uh, so the transistor won't conduct 100%. As if you remember, that uh, green line, that's what we were measuring here, was 0 0.6 volts higher when we set the trim pot to uh, zero, approximately. 0.6 volts. So, in any case, we raise that voltage up as we saw that voltage also goes up at the same pace until we get to uh, 5 volts for the most part. So, 2.5 volts here. You can uh, see uh, 5 volts in a way wants to uh, come to this point. If we have uh, 2, let's do 2.4 volts. So, 0.6 volts would be uh, 3 volts there. As long as we got 3 volts, current will uh, flow through, the transistor will start uh, conducting. That's why the voltage can't go higher than that. It'll be limited. Because if it tries to go higher, just more current would pull it to ground there and uh, lower it. So, in any case, uh, 3 volts, then current will go through to, uh, if we have this set to 2.4 and to ground and more will flow through there to maintain that voltage at this point. Remember our output here is in relationship to ground. That's how I had the oscilloscope. So we can't really provide much uh, power at that three volts if we set this at 2.4. That'll be three, remember. We could do a signal to other circuitry. A lot of times you send it to an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So this 0.6 volt uh, rise is uh, set back down 0.6 volts so that you get the voltage in is the same voltage out. We'll look at that in a future circuit. But for now, just realize we got 0.6 volts higher in relationship to ground. We could have circuitry where that uh, 5 volts from the positive supply goes through a load and then to ground. That would be a 5 volts, 3 volts. That would give us 2 volts across that load. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll look at future circuits where we do that. But for now, just remember the outputs in relationship to ground. So let's go to the other extreme here of uh, 5 volts. Remember we need about 0.6 volts. 
before current will flow from emitter to base. If we got 5 volts on both sides there, there's no voltage difference. No current's going to flow from emitter to base. Thus, no current from emitter to collector. It's like an insulator, like it doesn't exist. We have the 5 volts through the 1000 ohm uh, coming to the output. And uh, so that 1000 ohms, that's our limit because that's what we use. If we need more current at the output, for whatever reason, we could use a lower value uh, resistor right there. But we do need to uh, limit current. And the lower value will just have more waste while the uh, transistor is conducting and there's no voltage to the load. So even though the load may look off, look like it's off, a lot of current's being wasted. Hopefully that makes sense. So generally this is a signal, maybe for an NPN bipolar junction transistor or uh, something else. And uh, you could uh, power light loads with it too, if you really want to. So in any case, this video went on a lot longer than uh, I expected, so I hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.